Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, died up your own surrounded brother. by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He said practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. They wouldn't take over territory. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. So out of control that it killed the man. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but dragging others to fight them for you... Oh. Could be chaos. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. And no type of control either. Check over here. You let out drones? All right, Bruce. Just there. The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. Yeah, it's, it's time, time to bring out the, the bat, bat, man. It's time to bring out the bat. We we reason him out as a friend. Now we gotta. Now we gotta talk to him. Finger, you can... kill, kill me. I'm 
freaking listen to conversations. That's crazy. You already tore up this play once, first. You lot, come check out this office. You gotta do it again. You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry. I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. Uh, it is an order. Him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? You're going to attack the mayor? That's not going to happen. Attack? Absolutely not. Mayor Hill's role has been decided. What you mean, decided? Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. What you doing, my, we'll walk, what you doing with my girl, bro? So, Somebody sorry, this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, yes! Mm. Name. <laughs> you know the real. You know the identity. <laughs> uh huh. You about to get started, uh huh. You about to get started, uh huh. <laughs> so, what are we doing, Batman? Oh, but we got low. Oh! Oh, oh! Got the hands for show? Gonna have to try harder than this. What are you, bro? Oh, snap! We got it. Gone, bro. I'm... Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. He hit you with a meaning uppercut that you fell out the damn club. Thank you. 
You certainly stand out, bro. Certainly stand out, Bruce. Did you hear? You lost? Cause I don't have time for tours. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You never know. You'd be surprised. Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Oh. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. It's not. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Uh -huh. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> it's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. That's the only thing Tell we can do. what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, right. no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? I'm always trying to find somebody to That's leave out the choice. Time. I need you, Selena. That right. If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together. Oh shit! Sure. After all, oh, snap. I forgot I'm they not are really together. An all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. Mm. You and I. This, uh, penguins, man. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, penguin says hello. Hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, Yo, get the hell out! Nigga, we about to get this shit popping. What you talking about? <laughs> you thought I was gonna sit around and not just. Oh, 
put my hands on somebody, huh? Get your hands dirty, bros. Get your hands dirty, bros. Get your hands dirty, bros. Slipping, brother. Uh, let's go. Whoop. Let's get it. Uh huh. Got him. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Good for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way. Yeah, let's get up out of there. Look at the alleyway, you just are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Hey, I mean, let's get out of here. Oh, I see you want to take play the rooftops, hard to get, you take the alley. But Wait, Harvey is my dude. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs> now, where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Let's see what we got. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor, Mayor Hill? Hill. Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Yo. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? It looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. 
Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Uh, let's go as Bruce. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Cause it's just a, it's, I'm gonna go as Bruce because it's our first time actually meeting him. As as me meeting him. So I wanna come in there with a good impression, not a bad one. If it was the second time around, then we'll put the suit on. If there ever was a, if there ever was a second time. I forgot we was at City Hall episode one. So the drive that was in his office was Mayor Hill? Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment? But the mayor- Will be fine. And if he fires, he just come to work for me. Deal? Come on now, put the stat. What's wrong with her hair? Come on now, with the status. The status quo. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well, straight to business. Yeah! And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. I ain't trying to be linger with you. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. Oh, man. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So, what's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You're working with Oswald Cobblepot and his thugs. Working with them? They're a bigger threat to order than those masked freaks. What masked freaks? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Hmm, okay. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Yeah, not, not a, a chance, chance. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things. And I give them to whoever I please. You're not. But wait a minute. We got evidence. We got you on tape. We got you on tape. So why are you lingering with us when we got your voice on tape? You supposed to be, I'm, you feel me? I got the upper hand because I got your voice on tape. Nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne. And you're punching above your weight. 
Get out of the ring before you You get can't hide from this. Judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. You know Harvey is going to embarrass you out there. Dent's campaign is on its last legs. Tonight, it hits the canvas. It's you who's going downhill, and you're not getting back up. You've been married for too long, brother. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security at the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. 